What's going on, gang? It's your boy, DBGTX-YT, and coming with you guys with part two. That is right, part two of the patch updates. We got through about 72 of them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make this video as fast as I can with the rest of these patches. Um, they, now that the majority of them have come out, and then in the final video, I'm going to go ahead. I, I won't do a final video. I'll just post the remainder of the stuff, the remainder of the buffs, the last 10 things uh, from what I checked. Uh, I'll post them up on the community for you guys, so that way you guys have that there, okay? Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, the first part had about 73 moves updated. Now we are checking it from part two, and uh, we're taking it from there, okay? One second. All right, all right, all right. So we got burst attack out of there. So Dragon Thunder got an increase of damage and improved with hit protection, so it made it easier to connect upon um, upon hitting. That's uh, if you don't know what Dragon Thunder is, that is a unique move for, uh, for Omega Shenron. Energy shot, nobody uses energy shot, so I'm just going to skip that. Meteor Blow, this right here, has always been one of my staples for making combos. So uh, they made it that you can't see advantage out of it when you get hit with the Meteor Blow, whether you have stamina or not. So it's kind of like the perfect shot when you get knocked backwards. Uh, but it also change uh they also change the uh the timing to cancel out of the move after, the, after you knock them backwards uh meteor strike is the same it is very similar to meteor blow meteor blow knocks you forward meteor strike knocks you downwards um so it all depends on what type of combo you're trying to make or what you're trying to get at the biggest difference between these two is that when you do the meteor strike and it knocks and you knock them into the ground you can go ahead and follow it up with a super move slash uh open the move or anything like that you know cancel it from one to the other meteor crash um has a damage the buff slash nerf so the longer the thing is if you complete the move entirely it'll take as much damage as before but if you cut the move sh shortly prematurely it'll go ahead and uh, decrease the damage if you hold the move it increases the damage and so on and so forth energy wave combo uh this allows you to the track they they improve the tracking on it so when you launch it even if the character's falling down in an arc or something like that the energy wave combo will always track them and still hit them. uh gallic beam infinity explosion time delay all got to increase damage buffs prelude to destruction i believe that is uh beerus's move uh, made it easier to connect, made it, um, and it made it easier to hit with characters that are super small or extremely large, one or the other. Elite Beam and Elite Shooting, that is Jocko's move, uh, they got increasing buffs, and the Elite Shooting got, uh, make, uh, got uh, the blast to come out quicker. The Super God Shock Flash, which is Goku's, um, Goku's hit, or whatever, uh, the one inch punch, let's put it like that, uh, that they did increase the damage and made it so you can be able to use your invasive immediately after that. First Kamehameha wave got the damage increased. Um, first Kamehameha wave from Goku got the damage increased, made it easier to hit with an additional input. Uh, the final blow from uh, Vegeta Blue got increased in damage. The counter burst by Vegeta got increased in damage. Um, that's the one that Vegeta uses. If you use a special attack, it makes it, you know, uh, it pretty much sends it right back at the person with double the damage and so on and so forth. Barely nobody ever uses that unless you're like a super counter artist. Tail Slicer, which is, I believe, Jet, uh, the members move, increase the speed of the blast. That, uh, so when you're doing the, the, the cut, the cuts and stuff like that, um, uh, it'll go ahead and uh, cut through regular key blast and improve the damage I put a priority. Rocket Punch, Rocket Tycho, I Beam, Android 16's moves, they all got buffs. We got Shadow Crusher, I believe, or Shadow Crasher, I believe that's, uh, that's Breeze's move right there. Uh, they made it easier to connect and increase damage. Super Explosive Wave, the Fuse of the Tree of Might, um, the Super Explosive Wave, got increased damage fruit of the tree of mine i'm just gonna let you guys know right now from what i noticed all evasive moves in this patch got down got downgraded to two bars of stamina that right there is an amazing 
amazing change of pace in the game and change of pace in battle period because now people are going to be using more evasive but at the same time people are also going to be um the evasive is going to be more strategically placed so the gameplay is going to be altered slightly uh so that's pretty cool so a lot of other things that uh got got changed up are buff moves so anything that's buffing you up like the like the fruits of the tree of my uh, audacious labs and things like that that cost like 200 uh, 200 to use 200 key less to use not only costing one uh, so if y'all see that if y'all see that here I'm gonna probably skip to it because of the skip it because of the simple fact that I'll be I'll just say fruit of the tree of might y'all already know what that means you know and I'll just say it like that so here we are super explosive wave uh, sudden uh, super explosive wave was an increase of damage fruits of the tree of might y'all already know Sudden Storm, increased damage. Um, Wakasha's Claw, uh, that got an increase of damage and you cannot vanish out of it. The Dimension Hole, which is uh, which is Janumba's unique move, uh, doesn't cost, it doesn't cost key unless it hits the first strike and whatnot. Darkness Eye Beam, another Janumba move, increased damage speed. Dynamic Finger now has improved tracking on both ends. So if the person, if the person dodges, uh, if the person dodges or moves to the left of it, it, the hitbox is not going to force them to get caught in it and pull back in and whatnot. The same way that if you are within the vicinity of the dynamic book, the dynamic finger, you are going to get caught. The Dodoria beam got decreased by 100. Um, Flash Frisk Crush got increased by um, decreased by 100. The Dodoria beam. The Flash Fish Crush got increased by uh, increased damage. The Aura Slide got extremely nerfed yet again, and they changed the invisibility frame, so you won't have any more invisibility frame. Gallic Cannon Time Skip, Time Skip Jumps, Time Skip Jump Spike, Sudden Death Beam, and Reverse Launcher all moved either by Haba, Hits, and Bojack. They all got increased damage. Trap Shooter got decreased, uh, got decreased to 100. So a lot of moves that were 200 are being decreased to 100 to be able to use a lot of them. Not all of them, a lot of them. Um, Psycho Barrier got the damage increase. The Spirit Stab is it, the Spirit Stab is a conundrum. The Spirit Stab, if the person is not moving and or not attacking or you're in the middle of a combo and you catch them with a Spirit Stab, their stun time is going to be longer. Now, if I'm dashing at you slash putting, inputting a move, and I get caught in the spirit stab, what ends up happening is that I can actually snap vanish and move around. Savage Strike, they went ahead and applied the same buff, a nerf that they applied to the Super God Fist. If you hit them with the first strike, the opponent is able to snap vanish out of out of it after getting hit. If um, you're also able to combo, com you are also able to combo into um, into the second after the second hit or the second input you're able to uh to combo into the second input um blades of judgment you got increased damage super ghost combo, super ghost bull attack um they made it so that after a certain time the ghosts actually track you and attack you and whatnot uh evil flame decreased the damage and reduced it and reduced it to 100 key brave sword slash which is um tapion's move got increase in damage Slightly increased the track and so it could hit, and of course made it uh, prioritized over and other beams. So if you have you're shooting regular key blast slash super moves, this particular move will cancel out their super move and prioritize. Rough Ranger uh, 17 from Super's uh, ultimate, completely buffed. Power Impact, uh, Power Impact, you don't flinch if you fully charge the move. Confusion Blade made it easier to hit, change flight pattern. Of move after after the set, so I'm believing that's uh, Fu's move when he throws out the um, either the the minefield. No, that's the minefield spike. It's, this is Fu's move right here. The sneaky strike got increased in damage. I don't know why because a lot of people were doing this using that. Uh, but the additional input decreases your time and visibility. You also move slower and. Um, you can't guard immediately. So those are things that, those are the nerfs that they apply to that. The Soaring Fizz got an increase in damage, improved attacking when using without charging. Um, we have uh, the Surging Spirit, which is Goku uh, Ultra Instinct Power Up. Uh, charged up, made it so 
key charge up faster, the Kamehameha Ultra is the Kamehameha, the Gigantic Breaker, the Spirit Blaster, Super Kamehameha Wave, Dragon Fist, Times 4 Kamehameha Wave, Saiyan Spirit, Super Explosion, Full Power Energy Wave, they all got increase in damage. Times 20 Kamehameha Wave, you can have Z uh, snap advantage out of the move anymore. Uh, Super Spirit Bomb, they increased the damage, made it easier for all hits to connect and improved the tracking on it. The Full Power Energy Blast made it easier to connect. Or, uh, full Power Energy Blast while he does that. They made it better with tracking. So again, that doesn't help for people who are just constantly using this move. The Chain Destructible did, they improved the speed and tracking. Uh, Spirit Ball, Neo Tribeam, Final Flash, Final Explosion, Paralysis all got increased in damage. Uh, yeah, so those particular moves just got increased in damage. There's uh, no no nothing for certain for those moves. We go back up to page three now, and we have uh, the Death Ball, Death Meteor, Last Emperor, Super Electric Strike, Dead End Bullet, Shocking Death Ball, Dual Destructible Disc, Dead End Rain, Perfect Command Mail Wave, Innocent Breath, and Super Ghost Kamikaze Attack alongside Final Command Mail Wave, Made in Burst, 100 times Big Bang Command Mail Wave, Warp Command Mail Wave, Super Gallic Gun. All got damage increase buffs. Now we hit the Hell's Flash, the best move in the game as of the last patch. Now they decrease the damage from the Hell's Bound Flame. So when they rise up from the ground, that damage does not take enough damage. It has officially uh, dropped from the moon. Hell's Flash is no longer the OP move that it used to be. Here's where the things get tricky. The one-handed command mail wave two, the one-handed command mail wave one. You put you input a certain uh, when you input the the the, stand, the 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 key to use the additional input. They both are uh, they both are decreasing the stamina needed in order. Um, it says stamina, so I'm assuming that instead of you being able to eat through the hits and use your stamina to eat through the hits is just gonna take like two bars instead of three bars. Uh, Meteor Burst, they decrease the damage because uh, not last patch, but it's always been OP, but last patch they updated the speed of the release of the move and thus you can catch people even if they are not heavy stamina broken and that was bad, very bad. Dimension Ray, Soul Punisher, the Doria Launcher all got increase of damage. Time Skip Molotov, got changed so that way you can sneak advantage immediately after getting hit with a time skip molotov and you're in the rebound so after you get hit and you start spinning around you can snap advantage behind hit slash anybody else super black command mail wave they decrease the damage the burning strike um they increase the damage and additional inputs don't do any more damage than the, than the input from before the sword of hope is interesting the sword of hope if you do the three hit slash which i think is triangle then no it's square ha 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 yeah if you do square into circle you'll it'll connect and if you do if you do triangle square into circle it'll also connect so all three moves are able to connect that means that there will be massive damage with the sort of hope uh secret poison um got increased the damage in the poison department impulse slash got increased the damage and made it hit and made it easier to hit with the follow-up the follow-up key blast after you know you do the little combo bit uh instant severance is telling me that if you get hit with the instant severance you will get automatically stamina broken that's my um that's my take from that divine lasso super black uh, Grand Smasher, Holy Wrath, Evil Blast, Brave Sword Attack, they all got damage input, but Brave Sword Attack in particular may, has become unblockable. So if you see me from across the screen using the Brave Sword Attack and you just hold the R1 thinking that you're going to be able to block it, sorry, but you're about to get a whole bar and a half taken from you. Uh, remote Serious Bomb, they said that the Remote Serious Bomb, the second input, did not require key. Godly display increased got increased damage. Gigantic burst got an increase of damage. Uh, Super Command Mail Wave. These are all unique moves to Super Gogeta, Goku, Ultra Instinct, Kale. If you got the moves to Kale and such, but the Spirit Explosion got reduced. Uh, um, the Super Command Mail Wave got increased in damage. Now here we go. Like I said beforehand, a lot of the evasives got nerfed. Um, not nerfed, but they got their they got their stamina 
reduction down to 200. So now you'll be able to use uh, evasives a lot more often. So here we go. We got Spirit Explosion, Turn Retreat, Spirit Slash, Psycho Escape, Mock Dash, Final Pose, you name it. All of these moves got reduced to 200 stamina cost instead of 300. Um, last but not least, the other thing that they touched upon is uh, the 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 key blast, the power key blast. So when you hold the truck, when you hold the circle button and you release the power button and you release it, it's gonna take more damage. But uh, all of these other moves are going are gonna have their own personal buffs. Uh, Rush key blast can be charged up to five times with the full charge knocking the, knocking back the opponent. The homing key blast. Uh, the homing key blast when you hit them uh if you charge it up to the third one it will knock them back to the point where you're able to combo and to move the paralyzed key blast can be charged up to three times and the paralysis is all dependent on your charge the bomb key blast um the bomb key blast the hit direction damage in time depending on how much you charge it will always be one hit no matter what hit state so it's not going to take multiple hits like before um Decrease the time between additional input and explosion. Last but not least, on page four, we got the avatar nerfs and buffs. So the female saying got buffed. Uh, the normal attack got adjusted. The freezer race uh, fixed the glitches where if you use like uh, flash, uh, fist flash, whatever the hell that move is called, flash or, or things like that. Um, it doesn't glitch for you not to be able to hit them. The War of Burst Dash got decreasing damage. Uh, got decreasing damage. No stamina cost to use. Use the stamina on the additional input. Uh, that means that when you press Square Triangle, it doesn't use stamina. But if you press Square Triangle twice, it will. Um, if you run into an opponent's guard with just the Square Triangle, it's going to take you. It's going to take a second for your character to recover. You cannot snap vanish out of that. Your guard. Um, Guards have been fixed and adjusted, so everybody pretty much has the speed, the, the, the guard speed of Beerus, which was the number one perfect blocker in the game alongside of East. So now everybody can, the, the perfect guarding thing is uh, is buffed for everybody to be equal, uh, 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 equal across the board, I, I'm assuming. Uh, vanish step, the vanish step when you go ahead and you're in front of a, uh, an opponent and press forward and X, you appear behind them, won't take heat, uh, won't take stamina. Uh, the partner customization got increased. Skill explanation is giving more information uh, when you look at it through the bag. And then stamina drain. Uh, stamina drain, like when somebody's hitting you, how much stamina you're losing when you're getting hit. Uh, they went ahead and adjusted the cast character, so every cast character now is stronger and more buffed up. Um, and then, last but not least, we have the UI Goku adjustment, which is important. The UI Goku adjustment, um, it increased, when dodging attacks, it increased the stamina consumption by 100, but Goku now recovers his uh, stamina like normal characters, and his damage buff is normal like the regular char cast characters. So now you're going to be seeing a lot more people using Ultra Instinct Goku, um, because they don't have to worry about, oh, my key is not going to regenerate, or oh, things like that. Um, outside of that, uh, Van Potion said that he'll come back to a few things that he needs to get to. He will get to them later, and I will post them up in the community. That pretty much sums up everything that uh, has been given to us at this point. And pretty much, I'm looking forward to... <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, the new and improved, I guess, Xenoverse in that, in that sense. Hopefully everything goes well and that they also improve the netcode on that. And if they did, um, I'll be here Thursday trying it out with you guys. Yeah, I already know. More than likely, it may be on PC um, rather than my PS4 for the, first, uh, for the first time. And then I'll switch it over to the PS4 on Friday and do Friday night Xenoverse with you guys uh, testing out the new characters. All right? With that being said, I'm going to leave it at that. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. The goal is 20 likes. Let's go ahead and break that goal. Holla at your boy, DVGTX, over and out.